Okay, in this series uh, we're kind of dealing with backgrounds and how we deal with a logo maybe that's been provided um, to us for uh, from a client. And in this case what we're going to do is uh, show you a couple of different uh, options uh, to deal with this Facebook logo. Um, so I'm going to go to File, Place. I've got a Facebook logo. Now, um, I have a couple different things here. I've got a white background that I may want to get rid of and like in the other previous videos um, I can't do anything with this because I've placed it so I'm going to need to break that link and I'm going to have to right click in this layer and hit rasterize layer. Now I can get rid of things. Um, I may just want to go simply to the magic eraser tool. I'm going to click on this white area and if, again if you are um, not sure where it's actually selecting from you can hit the cap locks and that toggles a precise cursor and hit cap box on again and it gives you that icon. I'm going to select that and that, that looks pretty good for right now. Now, um, once I've removed that, then I can, maybe I want a little bit of a border, I can double click out here and go to layer styles and I could go to um, my stroke and I could apply a stroke and I could change the color and I could add a white Border. So I've basically got the same thing that I had. Uh, maybe it's a little bit cleaner. Um, possibly that uh, I don't want a stroke. I can put a drop shadow on. But all these things I'm able to do because I've removed that, that background. I probably could bevel and emboss it. This is kind of already bevel and emboss, but it um, gives me a lot of variety. Now, let's say that I, um, I needed that white background. I'm going to hit Control Z, but maybe it wasn't big enough, or maybe I need another color behind it. So um, I know we're just learning about layers, but I can make a new layer here, and I can drag it underneath the Facebook layer, but on top of my background layer, and I could make a uh, additional square here. Maybe I want this color blue to f to fill in, so I could use my eyedropper tool. I could select this blue. That changed my color over here in the foreground background color and then I could fill so I could either use the paint bucket or I could hit the shortcut alt backspace alt backspace fills and so maybe I've kind of dressed up that logo a little bit for whatever publication or maybe my website or whatever that I may be needing it but the trouble is now too that um, I've got independent layers so if I go over to the move tool they're not connected so there's a couple of different ways to connect it um, I can hold the shift key down and that way I can select multiple layers at the same time or I can hit control and uh, select multiple layers as well. But um, I've just selected these two and I'm not exactly sure if I want maybe at this point that I want this blue but I, I want to move it around and see if I want to. So I need to click on this little chain link and that's going to link them together even if I click off of them and click on just one layer or another they, you can see that both of them have the chain link now I go to the move tool and now they're going to be moved um, together it's kind of a grouping that Photoshop uses and then if I uh, choose not to have that blue all I can do is unlink it and I can move Oops, I need to unlink it here and then move that and they're independent again but let's say that now that I I do want it this way, absolutely. Um, and I, but I'm, I'm getting a bunch of layers. Maybe I've got 20 or 30 layers, and it's getting kind of confusing. And I want to move it around, and I'm afraid that I'm going to lose that registration. So what I need to do is um, hold either Shift and click or Control and click. Um, and then what I want to do is I want to go to Layer and Merge Layers. So Merge Layers is going to merge and kind of flatten the layers that I have selected. So if I click on this, now you can see that there's only one layer up here and now they're both fused together. Now let me explain the other buttons here as well. There is another option that says Merge Visible. So um, it's going to flatten all the layers that I have the visibility turned on. So if I wanted to use that button, which I think this is the, the better one, but if I use the Merge Visible, then I better turn off these layers. And now um, I'm going to go to Layer Merge Visible, but it's grayed out. 
And the reason why it's grayed out is because I don't have one of those mer or those visible layers actually selected. So if I select one of those layers, it doesn't make any difference which one. I can go to layer now merge visible is is uh, available. Um, and then the final one is flatten image. And if I wanted to make all of these into one layer, which I definitely don't want to do, I've lost a lot of flexibility. But there's a few times when um, you may want to do that to save file size, or um, there are instances where you'd want to do that, but uh, kind of very few. You want to be really careful, but you could hit flatten image, but you better be sure that it's exactly the way you want it, um, because at that point, you don't have the access to all the layers. It's all fused together. And so if you, uh, you can always hit control Z until you close it. But once you close it, then you've lost the history, you've lost the ability to use control Z, and you're up a crick. So um, you may want to, to add um, a background or take a background away from a logo for uh, some of these upcoming projects.